who would be here tonight, just as mothers and daughters, and um, whatever title you're taking tonight, if you are a, a grandmother, or maybe you're a woman like me who's not a mother, but, um, you know, I think the term mother it can, can really apply to anybody who nurtures and cares, and so if you're a spiritual mother, um, if you are just a small child, I see little girls here, I see elderly women here, so I think it's just beautiful to come together just to embrace the feminine heart of how, how God created us. So I'm going to just share a, a special music selection with you tonight. Um, this is a song that I personally love from my own childhood. When I was growing up, um, my mom stayed home with all five of us, my mom had five kids, and um, we had, you know, um, a, what I call a hallway kitchen. Did anybody ever have one of those? It was like literally just a hallway and it had a row of cupboards and then we actually had a washer and dryer on the, at the end of it and it was like a multi-purpose hallway. I don't know if anybody of you remember kitchens like that. Uh, my mom would sit me on top of the dryer while she was busy doing whatever she was doing and this is what she did to, let, to, to try to entertain me. She would give me pennies and I would shine pennies so I guess that was a way to keep me busy. But when I was doing weird things to, to keep myself busy, like shining pennies, um, she would always have Christian music playing. Um, a lot of Stephen and Annie uh, Chapman, Did anybody remember them from the 80s? This is 80s music, I see head shaking. Um, Salty the Songbook, did, did any of you play that for, for your kids? Um, and this, this song that I'm going to sing tonight is called Somewhere in the World. It's by um, an 80s singer named Wayne Watson. And I loved this song. And my mom and I, we would sit in that holy kitchen, and we would sing at the top of our lungs. And I just thought we were singing, right? We just loved to sing. I was, I was always that kid who wanted to be athletic, but I just wasn't. Like, I always wanted to, like, you know, dribble a ball and run gracefully. But my mom realized there was no athletic ability in me. But she did realize that I could sing, and so she honed me in that direction. So we would sit and we would sing. And like I said, I just thought, we like to sing. But what I know now that I'm older is that she was actually praying a lot of these songs over me. And the song I'm going to sing is one song that I, I'm serious. She probably sang it over me and my sisters every day. And so um, whatever role you're here taking tonight, um, grandmother, mother, daughter, spiritual mother, you can fill in the blank. Um, the line in the song says, Hold on to Jesus, baby, wherever you are. And so um, just let that speak to your heart today as a, a beautiful woman or, or a young girl that God created in his, his image. So.
And to those who experience loss this year through miscarriage or failed adoptions or running away, we mourn with you too. To those who walk the hard path of infertility, fraught with pokes or prods or tears and disappointments, we walk alongside you. Forgive us when we say foolish things. We don't mean to make it harder than it is. To those who are foster moms and mentor moms and spiritual moms, we need you. Little girls out there need you. To those who have warm and close uh, relationships with your own biological children, we celebrate with you. That's a beautiful thing. disappointments and heartache or distance with your adult children, we just sit with you in that heartache. For anybody who maybe lost their mother this year, we grieve with you. Possibly to those who do not have fond memories of childhood because of maybe an abuse. We acknowledge your experience in growing up. To those who live through driving tests, medical tests, overall uh, testing of motherhood, we are better for having you in our midst. To those who are going to be empty nesters this coming year, we both grieve and rejoice with you in all those emotions. <laughs> and to those of you who may be pregnant with new life, both expecting and surprising and anticipating, we just anticipate with you. So on this Mother's Day, we just, we walk with you, we thank you. For whatever role you take, whatever hat you're wearing today, you are a warrior for the Lord. And we celebrate you today.
that we wear as a mother. God, we say thank you for the incredible responsibility and that the beautiful feminine role you've given us to love children around us, to love other women around us. First and foremost, we want to be women who just seek your face, Jesus. God, speak to us right now. What does it mean for us as a woman after God's heart? To love your son, Jesus, first. <clears throat> this is our prayer, and all God's people say, Amen. Amen.